And some fierce winds today shut down a portion of Interstate 90 in Livingston, east of Bozeman. And as MTN's Carson Vicroy uh, reports, the area is no stranger to powerful and gusty weather. Livingston, Montana, known for its downtown restaurants and shops, rodeo, Saturday nights, and of course, its powerful crosswinds. Wind advisories, like the one issued on Thursday, are almost a weekly thing and can shut down the interstate. The wind has been blowing here all day long, and the wind is so powerful, it is causing crosswind issues out here along Interstate 90. You can kind of see it behind me, but if we record how fast the wind is blowing, it's going about 53 miles per hour, which is gale force. Those speeds can be dangerous to drive in, but what causes it? It's all about where Livingston is located. With high pressure located near Yellowstone National Park and lower pressures to the north, that pressure difference causes the wind. The greater that difference is, the stronger the winds are. You have the Gallatin, the Bridger, and the Absorca mountain range, which all act as natural walls, which traps the wind and helps it funnel through, making it very windy here for the city of Livingston. It's called a mountain gap wind, and with mountains on both sides of the Paradise Valley, the winds flow north between the Absorca and Gallatin ranges along the Yellowstone River. They are the strongest when they reach Livingston, which is why Montana Highway Patrol urges drivers to pay attention and drive with caution through the area. Livingston isn't the only place seeing some powerful wind today. Talk more about that. Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenich. Yeah, a lot of the state saw some pretty good wind, except for the valley locations of western Montana. But uh, big trucks and trailers, mm -hmm. semis have to exit Interstate 90 and go down into Livingston and then around to kind of avoid those pretty strong crosswinds. Uh, that's what the Montana Department of Transportation is saying right now. Uh, take a look at East Glacier. Okay, there you can see the East Glacier sign. This picture just sent in. Uh, by Tammy Lane and this is the high wind sign and uh, somebody tried to kind of anchor it down by shoveling some snow there but if you miss the high wind sign caution high wind that's because it was probably blown almost all the way down to the ground thanks Tammy uh, for sending in that picture high wind warning Cup Bank, Great Falls, Lewistown, down through the Judith Gap, all the way almost to Livingston, and all the way out through Haver, Chinook, and Harlem. This going through tonight and tomorrow, all the way into tomorrow afternoon. That wind, though, wearing some of us out. Boy, it's been relentless here all week long, and it's really been a windy season, let's just say, with the weather pattern that we've had.